Setting up PhoneGap has completely changed since my last course a few years ago. PhoneGap is now far more streamlined and amazingly simple to set up. No more having to constantly recompile apps and export them onto separate devices or simulators, taking up hours of our time for every little change we make. Now we can start creating PhoneGap apps on Windows, GNU, or Mac OS X for Android, iOS, and Windows Phone devices without having to install a single SDK or use a cloud compiler like PhoneGap Build. We can now test our PhoneGap apps on multiple devices wirelessly within seconds. So how has PhoneGap managed to do this? The first major change is that PhoneGap now uses Node.js. We won't go into specifics about Node.js, but by using Node.js, PhoneGap can now broadcast our files locally. Before we begin, make sure your Windows, GNU, or Mac computer is connected to your local network. Then we tell Node.js to broadcast our files locally via an IP address. This sounds complicated, yet it only takes one line in our console to do this. Now grab an Android, iOS, or Windows phone device, or even all three if you're lucky enough, and take those devices and connect them to the same local network as your computer. Now we need to install the PhoneGap app through each OS's app store. So for Android, it's available through the Play Store, for iOS, the Apple App Store, or iTunes, and finally for Windows phones, go to the Windows Phone Store. Once installed, launch the PhoneGap app, which will then prompt you to give an IP address. This IP address will be given to you within your console window on your computer. Once you've typed in the IP address, just tap Connect, and there will be your app. Now when you save changes to your source files, the PhoneGap app will automatically refresh on all devices in real time, saving us countless hours by not having to recompile our app every time we want to test it. This lecture was just to demonstrate the power of the new testing capabilities of PhoneGap. The next three lectures will show you how to get all of this set up on Mac OS X, GNU, and Windows. These lectures will also include setting up Android emulation on OS X, GNU, and Windows. Also, iOS simulation, which will only be available on Mac OS X. If you want to test iOS apps and don't have a Mac, you must have an iOS device with the PhoneGap app installed. Also, before this lecture, I have provided a detailed PDF that shows the installation of PhoneGap on all OSs. So please join me in the next lecture where we'll take a look at installing PhoneGap on OS X.